Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Bentley Silver Lake for men. And I'm actually really excited to review this fragrance for you guys for a few different reasons. So if you'd like to know what I think about this scent, then keep watching. Now for transparency purposes, this fragrance was sent to me for free to review. But this is the type of scent that I probably would have tried and loved anyway. But first, if you guys like fragrance reviews, fragrance discussions, and just fragrance uh, media in general or entertainment, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put new videos out every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends, so I'll always have something for you to watch. And if you like these types of videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you don't like these types of videos, there is a thumbs down option that you are more than welcome to click to your heart's content. But today we're going to be talking about Bentley Silver Lake. And this is a new release from Bentley. A lot of people have been talking about it. And it's a fragrance that, like I said earlier, I was asked if I wanted to review it. Now, I love fresh fragrances, and I don't care if they're masculine or feminine. There's a lot of my fragrances in my collection that are sold at the men's fragrance counter that I love to wear. So I'm one of those people where I don't care if it's the men's side or the women's side, I will wear them and love them. Now, if you're the type of person where you only like to shop on one side of the aisle, that's fine, totally okay. But I'm gonna be giving you guys a female's perspective as somebody who wears men's fragrance about why I like this fragrance so much. So let's get into it. Now, I can't do this review without first mentioning the notes. So there's mint and lemon. You also have lavender, violet, pink pepper, amberwood, and musk in this as well. This is a very fresh fragrance, and even though it is something that I like to wear, it does smell like a masculine fragrance, like a fragrance you would find on the men's fragrance aisle. This is a very aquatic, freshy fragrance. It has aromatic, um, beautiful nuances to it, specifically from the lavender and the violet, but I really like the pink pepper in here, and I've talked about pink pepper in fragrances before. Pink pepper is a really smart choice to add to a lot of fragrances because it doesn't have the sharp bitterness that pepper can have, that spiciness, which in a lot of fragrances can be great, but can kind of counteract a fresh fragrance and make it a little bit too bitter, a little bit too sharp, and a little bit too strong. Fantastic in woody aromatic fragrances. Freshy fragrances, the slight little nuances of fruitiness that pink pepper has works surprisingly well. Now, what I like most about this fragrance is that it has that beautiful kind of bright, uplifting, sparkly muskiness paired with this really strong lemon citrus, just like almost astringency. It's a sharp fragrance, but not in a negative way, not in a stinging way. It's bright, it's uplifting, and it's just something that kind of like revitalizes you. It's zesty, and I just really, really enjoy that about this fragrance. If you like freshy fragrances, but you're the type of person that doesn't know what a good composition of a fresh fragrance is, what I mean by that is, is in a lot of cases, a lot of fresh fragrances will smell like Aqua de Gio. Aqua de Gio is probably one of the most memorable, one of the most beloved, and one of the most classic aquatic fragrances for men. And I find that this fragrance resembles Aqua de Gio, but it's not true to Aqua de Gio, which is something that I really like. So if you like Aqua de Gio, if you like that composition, if you like that style of fragrance, then I think that you will really enjoy this. It's more aromatic, it's more uplifting, it's more zesty, and it's a little bit more spicy without being again like spice, like that pink pepper is like the perfect note in this. And I find it to be really beautiful and a little bit more distinguished and a little bit more formal <laughs> than Aqua de Gio. Aqua de Gio is a scent that again is amazing, smells amazing, there's a reason why so many people love it, and I think that as a true testament to that composition, to the world of fragrance in general, when a fragrance like that stands the tests of time. You see that with a lot of other fragrances, Sauvage, Bleu de Chanel, um, you've got the Ralph Lauren Polo fragrances, those pretty much are standalone fragrances that people love. Um, obviously, um, Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans is one of them, and Aqua de Gio. There's a lot of other scents out there that I'm not mentioning, but just to kind of fragrances that people know that you can find at a department store, those are the ones that generally people reach for and love because they just smell amazing. They're crowd-pleasing mainstream scents that just smell 
really sexy and attractive on men and women. What I like about Silver Lake specifically is the brightness that this fragrance has without being too dumbed down. The lemon is correct. I feel like if it was bergamot, it would kind of disappear or meld with the musk a little bit. There's a bit of a sharpness again with that pink pepper and that lemon, but it works together really beautifully to create something that just kind of sparkles, is uplifting, is bright, but is still masculine and sexy. And the reason why I like to wear these types of fragrances, specifically men's aquatic and fresh fragrances, is because where I live, which is the tropics, these are the types of fragrances that just smell really attractive in this type of environment year round. So this is the type of fragrance that I would spray on and wear if I wanted something that would last but still be fresh and uplifting and smell good throughout the day. So if you like aquatic, freshy fragrances, and you want something a little bit different, but still not challenging or intimidating, but wearable and beautiful, I think Silver Lake by Bentley is great. It's a fantastic fragrance. Also, I have to speak to its longevity and its performance. Normally, freshy fragrances have poor performance, but this one is quite excellent, actually. I've got about six, sometimes 10 hours on my skin, and that's saying something for a freshy with pretty mild to moderate projection and sillage. Now, usually when it comes down to projection and sillage, you want beastly fragrances. This isn't super beastly in regards to it's not gonna fill a room and choke people around you, like Baby Yoda or Darth Vader, but it does have a presence and an aura to it to where people within close proximity will be able to wear it and enjoy it. It does have more projection than most, but I do find it to be work appropriate. And I've, even though this is a fresh fragrance, an aquatic fragrance, I like the spiciness to this and the aromatic qualities to this, I think translates it really well to evening time. And it works really well in cold weather too. So if you're looking for a fresh fragrance to wear year round, year round I can say words sometimes, not all the time. Give Silver Lake by Bentley a shot. In any case, guys, I'm going to end the review here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.